Jesus shed his blood upon the cross for our forgiveness of sin and for eternal life. Jesus gave his body upon the cross for the physical healing of our bodies. He therefore died to free the whole man, both spiritually and physically. Should we then not receive him anew each day, allow his Holy Spirit to transform our lives? Let all negative things go, sin, sickness, hurts, unforgiveness, curses, problems, and receive from him instead all the positive things such as love, joy, peace, health, freedom, and life in him. So his Holy Spirit brings eternal life into our mortal bodies. He commands us on, be healed in Jesus' name. And transforms us into his life. All negative things of death within us go, and all positive things within us become our life. Because Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. We can have life abundantly and more abundantly as we begin to see things from a higher perspective, something higher and greater than the world we see around us. Is it the glorious victory of Jesus over all the forces of evil and darkness? Is it a moving into the glorious victory of Jesus over sickness and hurt and even death? Is it seeing the victory of Jesus over the hurts of this world almost visibly? Abundant life is like the expanse of all his beauty and strength and majesty, clean and open and pure. His greatness, his love and compassion, bringing life and healing and hope to the people on this earth. I see abundant life as immense victory, the opening of the heavens, immense joy, immense love, the immense greatness of our Lord Jesus, shining forth brilliant light and fullness of life. To see sickness and evil crumble under your feet as you bring the victory of Jesus to the people. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. You know, abundant life is like an expanse of all his beauty and strength and majesty, clean and open and pure, his greatness, his love and compassion, bringing life and healing and hope to the peoples of this earth.
Jesus has taken this beggar off the street. He's just healed him of a stroke. Look at him walk. Look at him walk. His hand is totally healed. His legs are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you've been paralyzed for one year, yes. but you're going to walk. I know you're going to walk in, front of in a few minutes here. Lord, we just come on, strength, come back into these knees right now in Jesus' name. And then to the feet in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. Yes, yes, with feet. Yes. yes. And walk in Jesus' name. As you walk, your healing will come more. As you walk, yes. your healing will come more and more. You are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How are you feeling? Can you go up and down steps yet? How are you feeling? Are there tears of joy? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I just wanted to make sure you're 100%. You want to try and go up and down the steps? I mean, you are here. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. All right. You are here. So I'll be here. Paralyzed for one year. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that from this moment she goes from strength to strength, and that arthritis will never come near her again yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. But she will remain healed for the rest of her life. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.